There's a pop song out there I, I despise. Okay. Last year, I was driving home from a show. I put the radio on, and I hear the song for the first time. You guys probably know it. You've heard it in the background at CVS. It sucks. <laughs> but I was driving, and I hear it for the first time. It goes like this. Here's to the ones that we lost. Here's to the ones that we wish they were here, but they're not. And the memories bring back, memories bring back, yo. Yeah. And I remember driving and being like, oh, I hate this. Wow, I really hate it. Who is this? I didn't know who it was. And I went home and I Googled it. I'm in my dip, okay? I'm typing. I'm trying to remember it. I'm sing Cause I'm singing out loud alone. Just here's to the ones that we lost. Who the hell is this? Then I found out Maroon 5. And I was like, of course it is. And they suck. I'm sorry, lady. <laughs> she keeps going, no. <laughs> Close your ears. It's just one, a couple more jokes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a spicy Melissa joke. Okay, all right. So I was in my little evil night mode. And I went on Instagram, I was like, hey, fans, you know this song? Here's to the ones that we love. That's Maroon 5. They suck, right? <laughs> Who's with me? And someone messaged me, this dude was like, yeah, fuck Maroon 5. I was like, ah! <laughs> but my fans, they really care about me. You guys don't want me in trouble on the internet. So a sweet lady messaged me, and she said, um, be careful, Melissa. Maroon 5 fans, they're going to come for you. That's how I read. I read everything with the voice. Be careful, they're gonna come for you. And I was like, oh, Maroon 5 have fans? <laughs> on. And this other guy messaged me, and he was like, I gotta let you know, they wrote that song for their friend who passed away. And I was like, well, lucky him. He didn't have to hear this shit like the rest of us. Because it sucks! <laughs>